Okay, and welcome back to my channel yet again, the place where I view all my new pickups and talk all things sneakers, streetwear, and sometimes even menswear. So today, as it's the end of the year, it's actually the beginning of the year, I'm going to do my top nine. So I just um, put up my post to Instagram, image here, where I go through firstly all of my top 2023 pairs, and then I'll go through all the pairs that I've bought in 2023. And actually, 2023, there wasn't a huge difference. I'll shoot both videos, but just as a pre-warner, they're not. there's not going to be a huge difference between them. Cool. So before we get into that fit of the day, so I have the neutral grey 85 drawn ones, quality utility pants in rust colorway, and then it's the white 021 essentials, T, Mitchell and their San Antonio Spurs snapback. Cool. So as I said, top nine of 2023, um, I did buy 14 pairs and I sold three from the collection, so I'm net net of 11. Um, I think overall the year's been pretty good. There's definitely been some better years, um, but it has been really good for the collection. Cool, let's get into it. Okay, so first pair, in at number nine, the Jordan 1 UNC Toe. And in my opinion, if this dropped in the um, in the um 2018 sort of 2019 maybe 2020 in that sort of pine green court purple um red toe era for me this shoe does very very well it's actually kind of bricked like the um taxi yellow toes have um same color blocking on all of them this is just that carolina blue so but for me very very nice pet so that is number nine So then in at number eight is the Jordan 3 Palomino, they've called them. So this is a mixture of different light to mid gray uh, browns even. Um, I thought it was a really nice colorway. Again, another kind of simple GR. But if you know me on this channel, I'm all about my kind of GRs as long as I can um, fit them well and I have the clothing to go well to make them look good. I don't really care. Nice to have some some limited stuff in the collection, but for me, like fits is really why I'm into um, sneakers and not just like just for the art of collection. So yeah, the crackled this really light uh, brown is crackled. It's a bit divisive with um, fans. Some people hate it. I personally quite love it because it gives like it's a kind of different depth to the to the materials. So yeah, that is my number eight, the Jordan Three Palomino. Oh, and then in at number seven, you can see a little bit of a theme here. Um, I bought lots of Jordans this year, clearly. Um, so this is the Jordan 1 True Blue. So for me, super, super underrated pair and really kind of captures that like oversaturation of Jordan 1s um, into the market where they've kind of like become less, much less of a cool, cool sought after shoe. And the kind of shoe now that the real kind of fans can get because they're sitting and they're going on sale. Um, but yeah, for me, look like a lot like the Storm Blues from a fair few years ago now. They're just four, five, six hundred bucks, maybe even seven hundred bucks cheaper, um, depending on your size. Um, actually, two shoes in here are both modeled on the True Blue Jordan 3, which is pretty cool. You can see these, um, and then one other that you'll see in a bit. So yeah, not much to say, just really nice color block. It's kind of like the um, Black Toe color block, but with gray. Cool, and now on to number six. So this list is not all just Jordans, I promise. Um, but this is the Jordan 3 Wizards PE. So this is a pair that originally was worn by MJ as a player exclusive. I wanna say it was 2000, 2001, 2002, somewhere in that range. Came back, played for the Wizards, um, and basically they took the um, Jordan 3 True Blue, pop an image up here, um, and they basically just traded out the red parts on the True Blue, which he wore for the Bulls, for the bronze um, of the um, Washington Wizards colorway and um, their shirts. The blue is slightly different, and I think they did amend it to match the Wizards blue. Um, but yeah, it's basically a PE that's now been GR'd, um, which is pretty cool. Cool. And then in at number five, I have kind of cheated somewhat here, but we do have the Nike Air Max One 86 Premium Big Bubbles in the 
OG Red and the OG Obsidian. So a special piece of Nike storytelling here. Um, in 86, they released an MX-1 in these two colors and Aqua and the, um, oh, what's the name? And the Royal, sorry. Um, and they had these big bubbles, which don't look how bubbles have looked ever since. The main reason is because they had to recall them because they kept bursting and like breaking. And I think the tech had to come along so that they could have the bigger bubble style. Only negative on these is the laces, which came much thinner than this. If I can find it, I did take an image. If I can find it, I'll put it in there. But I basically just went on um, Amazon, bought normal laces and just got to whack them in. And I'll do the same with any others that they release. Okay, cool. And then in at number four, the first non-Nike in the list. It's really not normal for me. Um, yeah, this is the Ronnie Feig A6 Jodelite 3, 2007 remastered model of the Super Yellow. So quite a muted, slightly darker tone with the gray, with gray on gray. It's kind of all, all down there, the same gray. But I did put the white laces in to really kind of like A, go with the midsole, and then B, just contrast with the with the darker greys to really kind of bring the shoe to life. So really nice, solid pair for me of the three Ronnie Feig Jolet 3s this year. It's probably the third place. Um, we'll get into the other two in a sec, but nevertheless, still a really, really nice um, colorway, especially, I think, with those white laces. And now let's get into the honorable mentions just before we get into that top three. So I'll shoot some imagery up because I don't actually own any of them. Um, so first off, Nike MX1 Considered, um, which is a collab with the Size Boutique over in the UK. I thought it was an amazing shoe and it's one of the ones I'm going to prioritise first going after this year. Um, then we had the third of the three Ronnie Feig Jolite 3s by invitation only. Um, yeah, an another really, really nice 2007 remastering. Um, we have the Nike SB Jordan 4 Pine Green. Price has just gone insane, and it's kind of the thing that really put me off. In hindsight, I probably should have pulled the trigger straight away, but we never know with these things, especially with the economy the way it is at the moment. Um, Jordan 3 J Balvin Sunset. Again, really, really nice colorway. It's going to be, along with the, the considered um, size exclusive pair, the first sets that I'm going to go after. Dawn Becker Jordan 3 from Hugo. Crazy, crazy colorway. Not sure I'd actually wear it, uh, or at least not that much. But as a Jordan 3 collector, I kind of have to have them. And I do have the 2010 Jordan, uh, Jordan 3 Dawn Becker um, from uh, Cole. Um, so I really kind of want to put these next to that. Then the last one, another Ronnie Feig, non A6 this time, but the, um, the, the Adidas and Clark's 8th Street Samba with the three colors on the stripes. So there was like a maroony and a navy and then a green. Um, and I just thought they looked really, really nice. So that's the honorable mentions. Cool, and now into our top three. I said I was gonna cheat again. I have. So this is the, uh, the Jordan 4 Craft Pack, I wanna say. Um, and we have the Proton Dust came out in spring, which I think is a very spring type colorway. And then we have the medium olive, which came out in autumn or fall, which I think is a very autumn and autumn fall type colorway. So I, I just think Jordan branded really well with this in that they've done that like super seasonal thing. So you've got a pair for the summer, a pair for the winter and that kind of stuff, but also the like super debossed um, netting cage that just looks really nice and they've just done away with a lot of the plastics like the plastic here has become leather this is a debossed suede just super super premium for a nike product in terms of the the materials all over so they just look really nice there's no other way to, to describe it really cool and then in at number two um we have the jordan 3 white cement reimagined um the latest rendition of my favorite ever sneaker so it had to be in here if i didn't already have the 2013 um, og and the 2028 super bowl um the justin timberlake uh, version this would be number one just not a huge fan of putting things that i've already owned for years in at number one on a list you know this is 23rd, the 2023 after all not 
or 13 or 18. So I couldn't put them up there, but I do love the way that they did all these like really OG kind of hits with this little orange tag and they did make them look like they'd sat around for years, just like they did with the Lost and Founds. Um, so yeah, really cool shoe. You're getting it heaps of wear. Jordan 3, uh, White Cement is always for me the easiest shoe to wear ever. So yeah, that is number two. Cool. And then to close things off, my number one, the Ronnie Feig A6 Jolette 3, again, 2007 remastered shape, this time in the super orange. So for me, what really kind of grabbed me with this colorway is this, this brown, it's really like muted soft brown. It looks just like the um, Flamingo pair that Ronnie did a year, uh, 10 years ago. I just love that color and it goes with this um, kind of more dusty, um, brownie gray it's kind of yeah grayish brown they just go so well together really like the ropes and then that hit of, um, of orange just really kind of set them apart for me super super nice pair i actually un -DS'd these my mum was in town i'll show an image here um my mum and my girl in the picture um so i un -DS'd them when she was here so a super special occasion there we went to see a concert um which is really nice but yeah just really really enjoyed wearing them one of those things where um you put them on your feet and you're just like looking down all day so, so yeah that's it for the list um yeah any any kind of thoughts and comments um feel free to kind of let me know what you guys like picking up the most this year um yeah i really liked 2023 as a year um it was really good for kicks really good for clothing um but yeah um enjoyed making the video hopefully you enjoyed watching it that's it from me over and out